Okay, thermodynamics lesson of the day. The device sitting in front of you is called a heat sink. It's a part I just uh, ordered this week and just received just now uh, for my FTM88 tactical kegerator uh, project that I'm building. And what a heat sink is for, as I'm showing a uh, different shapes and edges and sides of it. The whole point of a heat sink is that you have a hot thing, something that's generating heat on one side, the flat side, and the heat sink absorbs that heat and moves it up into these fins. There's 24 of these fins. Um, this whole thing is made as an extrusion, so they squirt molten aluminum uh, through a form, kind of like you're making uh, spaghetti or something, and it comes out in a big long rail going this way, and then they uh, cut off however long of a piece you need. This is a 12-inch uh, a uh, piece of a 10-inch and some change extrusion, and there are 24 of these fins that go the entire length all the way down, like that. So the whole point of this thing is you put something hot on the flat side here and that heat gets absorbed and it travels up into these fins and then either by uh, convection or by forcing air through it, exa uh, for example, with a uh, uh, fan like the one I have here, um, that heat gets uh, radiated out into the surrounding atmosphere and therefore taken away by, from whatever the hot thing is on this side. And as a device whose job it is to move heat from one side to another, it has some sort of interesting properties. For one, it feels very cool uh, to the touch, which is sort of interesting. And also, uh, if you take it and I'm just going to flip it over here for the sake of demonstration so the flat side's up. And if you go, hang on, run over here to the freezer and get a garden variety ice cube out of the freezer here. Now, if I just take this ice cube, and it's in the 70s in my apartment, it's not crazily warm. You take this ice cube and just, you know, sit it down, it kind of sits. It'll, it'll melt eventually, obviously. But if you take it and put it on the flat side of this heat sink, it almost immediately starts melting and moving around. I'll try and tilt the thing it's sitting on to keep it in one place. Obviously, it's kind of frictionless, so it doesn't want to stay there. And it melts, and boy, does it melt. Get back on there. Let me keep it on there. But this uh, hunk of metal does such a fantastic job at transporting heat from one side to another that it will pretty much tear through this here garden variety ice cube. And I'm not touching it much at all. I'm not trying to affect the results any. I'm just trying to keep it on here. And it's melting and it's melting and it's melting away. trying to escape again. <laughs> really likes doing that. And uh, it's uh, just about gone. Just a little sliver left, really. And this thing is, I mean, the, the sink itself is cool to the touch, so it's not like I've, I've heated it extravagantly or something. And it's, of course, dribbled lots of water all over my seat, but anyway, that's okay. Uh, um, it's almost done. Just down to barely a little sliver and uh, it's just about gone. So this thing works really well, and hopefully it'll, uh, it'll work really well for what I'm intending it for. So behold the power of science.